morning boys and girls it's a beautiful day and we are grateful to have another day it's a grand opportunity for you to do all the things that you want to do this morning so we are going to sing and i want you to sing with us after two one two we are a chosen generation Call for to show his excellence. All I require for life, God has given me. I know who I am. I know who God says I am. What he says I am. Where he says I'm at. I know who I am. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in miracle. I live a life of favor. I know who I am. Do you know who you are? You are God's favorite child. Mm -hmm. All of you are God's favorite children. Mm -hmm. And God wants you to know that, right? God wants right. you to know that you are special and you are unique, right? right? Okay. Now, boys and girls, we'll be moving on in prayer, right? Are we ready? Ready. Okay, let us pray. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We lift you up. There is no God like you. We are alive this morning. Thank you, Lord, for choosing us. Thank you, Lord, for making us special. Thank you, Lord, for being our rock and our shelter. Thank you, Lord, for helping us to be all that you want us to be. Bless the parents. Bless those who take care of your children. We ask for your guidance. We ask for your protection. We ask, Lord Jesus, at your lead. You will direct. You will instruct. We pray your presence will go with us. Lord, we ask that you forgive us of our many sins. Remember those who are in different countries. We pray that you bless them likewise. Be thou glorified, Lord, and be lifted up. For this morning, we are grateful to you that you are our rock and our shield. Have thine own way today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Our, Father, Our Father, who art in, in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Amen, boys and girls. Now today, we are moving into our book. So the book, the story that we'll be doing this morning is Job. And it's taken from Job 42. So, what do you know about Job? Anybody know anything about Job? No. You have never heard the story about Job? No. Well, we're going to read the story about Job. Right? So, let's go. Job was a rich farmer. He was a good man who worked hard, cared for his family, and faithfully worshipped God. But one day, everything changed. He lost his animals and his children were killed and balls appear all over his body. Job wondered why he was being punished in this way. His three friends tried to explain it. He must have done something wrong. Job knew this was not was untrue and begged. God to tell him why he and he an innocent man should suffer suddenly out of a whirlwind God spoke to Job who dares dares you to challenge my wisdom and power where were you when I made the world Job when God heard these words and Job heard these words he understood that God was all powerful he, he should simply have faith in God. This pleased God so much that Job was blessed with a new family, great wealth, 
and a long life. So here is Job. What happened to Job? Anybody remember? Job had boils all over his body. And but before lost. he got boiled, what happened? Was he a good person? Yes, he was. Okay, and what happened? What happened to his family? They got killed. Wow, oh, uh, how would you feel? I would feel very sad. Okay, all right. My papa died. Okay, so we, we, we people die in our family at times and it leaves us pain. But God is, what did Job realize? God is all powerful. And if he's all powerful, he gets to choose what will happen. Doesn't mean that he doesn't love you when he takes our loved one from us, right? And he can restore and he will do whatever he wants to do, right? Have a wonderful morning. We are moving now to circle time. Circle time. Are you ready for circle time, boys and girls? Yes. Let us go. Go. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Let's say it fast. The days of the week are Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. How many days make one week? So let's count it now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Very good. Now, what day was yesterday? Yesterday was Tuesday. Yesterday was Tuesday. So what day is today, boys and girls? Today is Wednesday. Today is so yesterday was Tuesday, today is Wednesday, tomorrow will be Thursday. Very good. So tomorrow will be Thursday. So let's sing our song. Today is Wednesday, today is Wednesday, and where are we today? We are at home today, we are at home today. Doing a school work. Clap along, clap along, clap with me. Clap along, clap along, one, two, three. I sing my song, I clap along at home and on Wednesday morning. Very good. All right. So we're moving on now to the months of the air. So, the months of the year are January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Twelve months make one year. Now, can you tell me what month are we in? We are in the month of July. We are in the month of July. And if yesterday, July, was seven days Six, old, seven. seven days old, how old is July today? July is eight, eight, days, eight days old. old. And we are in the year 2020. Give yourselves a big clap. Very good. Now we are moving over to counting. So let's count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one, thirty two, Forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty, fifty-one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four, fifty-six, fifty-seven, fifty-eight, fifty-nine, sixty, sixty-one, sixty-three, sixty-four, sixty-five, sixty-six. 67, 68, 69, 70, 
Very good. How do we write 100 boys and girls? One and two zeros. Very good. Now we're about to move to counting by five. All right, so let's go. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five, very good. Now we're moving to counting by 10. Are we ready? Yes. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Very good, boys and girls. How do we write 100? 1 and 2 zeros. Very good. Now we are about to go to alphabet. Are we ready? Let's go. A, B, C, D. In the morning, brush your teeth. E, F, G, H. Hurry up and don't be late. I, J, K, L. Learn the letters very well. M, N, O, P, Q. What we say is what we do. R, S. T U, you love me and I love you. V W X Y Z. Start again, again and chant with me. A B C D. In the morning, brush your teeth. E F G H. Hurry up and don't be late. I J K L. Learn the letters very well. M N O P Q. What we say is what we do. R S T U. You love me and I love you. V W X Y Z. The letters and the sound. Okay, so what letter is this? That is the letter M. And what sound the letter M's make? Mm. Mm. All right, what letter is this? That is the letter A. And what sound does the letter A make? Ah, 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 As in apple. apple. This letter now. That is the letter B. What sound? As in button, ball, bat. All right, let's go here. What letter is this? G. That is the letter G. G. And what sound does the letter G make? G. G. A guttural sound. It's coming from your throat. G. 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 Glue. As in glue. All right. Gate. All right. What letter is this one? This one. That is the letter L. And what sound does the letter L make? As in light. Love. All right, lips or lollipops, all those words, right? You hear that at the beginning? Now we're moving to some sight words, right? Let's go. Okay, boys and girls, let's say these words with me. Do you remember them? Say them. After, again, and, any, as, ask, by. Very good. Give yourself a big clap. Can you spell the word after? A S T E R. Very good. Thumbs up, man. Spell the word ask. A S K. Very good. Now we're moving over to I can read. So let's see it. I can read. 
Can you read, boys and girls? Yes. So let's read the title of the story. What do you see here? A girl, a pig, and flowers. Okay, so it says, Peg's pig. Let's read with me. Peg has a funny pig. Pet. Peg's pet is a pig. Very good. The pig is fat and pink. What is the color of the pig? Pink. Peg likes her pet pig. Ben is the pig. Do you like pet pigs? You like pet pigs? No. You don't like pet pigs. Okay, so let's read it again. What is the name of the girl? Peg. Peg, what a funny name. Let's read again. Peg, Peg has a funny pet. Peg's pet is a pig. The pig is fat and pink. Peg likes her pet pig. Ben is the pig. Do you like pet pigs? Okay, you don't like pet pigs. Tell me something about the, the short little story that you just read. Pig is pink and fat. Okay. Uh, what is the name of the pig? The name of the pig is Ben. Okay. What? All right. So I like that. Give yourselves a big clap. Do you think Peg like her pig? Yes. It says it in the story. Very good. So Peg like her pit. So too bad that you guys don't like Peg pits. Right? All right, let's move on to another story. Are we ready to go? Yes. Let's move on. Ready, steady, go. I can read. Now read the title. My, My Funny pet. pet. What kind of pets are these? A cat and a dog. A cat and a dog. So let's read. I have a funny dog. I have a funny cat. My dog has a blue and yellow hat. My cat has a red and blue hat. Do you have a pet with a hat? Do you have a pet with a hat? No. My pets are funny. All right, let's go again. I have a funny dog. I have a funny cat. My dog has a blue and yellow hat. My cat has a red and blue hat. Do you have a pet with a hat? My pets are funny. Okay. So I want you to tell me now about the story that you just read. What is the title of the story? The title of the story is My Funny Pets. Very good. All right. What are the two pets? The two pets are a dog and a cat. Okay. All right. What color hat do they wear? The dog wears a blue and yellow hat. And the cat wears a red and blue hat. Okay, have you ever seen a cat with a hat? No. That's a funny cat. Okay, so can you spell the word funny for me? F-U-N-N-Y. Can you spell the word blue for me? Very good. So let's do one more reading. Let's go. Okay. So what? Tell me something about this story that you're that pictures that you're looking at. Well, in between two girls, I see a hut. A hut. And what is in the hut? Wait, is that a hog? I don't know. But what is a hog? 
Wait, is another name for a pig? Yes, a hog is a name, another name for a pig. So let's read the title. The, the hog in the hut. Or right, let's read it together. I made a little hut. Jen and I can play in the hut. Oh no, we cannot play in the hut. I see a pink hog in the hut. Go away, hog. Jen and I want to play in the hut. No, if that was you, what would you do? I will just tell the hog to go away like then. Okay, so read it again for me. I made a little hut. Jen and I can play in the hut. Oh no! We cannot play in the hut. I see a pink hog in the hut. Go away, hog. Jen and I want to play in the hut. No, boys and girls. You would be scared of the hog. Would you be scared of the hog? No. Okay, very good. Can you spell the word hot? H-U-T. Spell the word play. P-L-A-Y. Litter. L-I-T-T-L-E. Very good. Very good. Do you want to read something else? Yes. All right, let's go over to this one. So, what picture is this? That is a table. What is this? That is an umbrella. And what is this one? That is a school bus. Okay, let's read now. This, this is, is a table. table. The, the table is pink. <laughs> Look at the pink table. The pink table is big. One more time. This is a table. The table is pink. Look at the pink table. The pink table is big. What is that telling you now? It is telling you that the pink table is big and the actual table is pink. So the color of the table is pink and it is big. Yes. So let's move on to the next one. This is an umbrella. The umbrella is pink. Look at the pink umbrella. The pink umbrella is big. Let's go again. This is an umbrella. See there? The umbrella is pink. Look at the pink umbrella. The pink umbrella is big. Okay, no boys and girls. I want you to know, tell me, what did you get from what we just read? I got that the object on the picture is an umbrella. Okay. And the color of the umbrella is pink. And the pink umbrella is big. Okay, very good. All right, next now, boys and girls, let's go. This is a van. So it's actually not a school bus. It's a van. Okay, let's read. The van is pink. Look at the pink van. The pink van is big. Come again. This is a van. The van is pink. Look at the pink van. The pink van is big. So what is that saying to you? It is saying that the object on the picture is a van. The van on the picture is pink. And the pink van on the picture is big. Very good. Can you spell the word table? T-A-B-L-E. Very good. Now, the next object is an umbrella. umbrella. Can you spell the word umbrella? U M B R E L L A. Very good. Now the next picture on this object is what? The next picture is a van. Okay, spell the word van. V A N. Very good. Now, boys and girls at home, you can also read this. You stay home and you read these. Reading make it a man. man. Reading make it a man. Very good. 
I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. We are an overcomer, right? And so, boys and girls at home, sit back, relax, and enjoy your reading. Seek and write out some of these words and try to read them at home. Have a great afternoon. While we'll come up later with our story time. All right. Enjoy it, boys and girls. Bye, Good. boys and girls. Say bye. Bye, bye boys bye. and girls. Catch you later with story reading. Chenya will be reading story for us later. Bye. Bye. Thank you.